Coast, Lokrom and Daxal Island, Croatia. A private island for sale at a ridiculous low price of 2 million euros and no one in the world is interested in buying. Why? And another island no one can pass the night on. Here are the Dubnovik's two islands of fear, Lukrum and Daxa Islands. Dubrovnik is a Croatia's most popular and expensive tourist destination. With many tourists trooping in from different parts of the world, there are 13 small islands off the coast of Dubrovnik, but tourists are always warned about 200 islands, Daxa and Lukrum. The island of Daxa is located just 1.5 nautical miles off the coast of Dubrovnik. Inasmuch as the city of Dubrovnik is always busy and flooded by tourists, the island of Daxa is always avoided like plague, with strict warnings by the locals. The island of Daxa, which is also covered in pine, lemon and orange trees, has a spacious villa, its own 19th century lighthouse, a boathouse and dock. With this much facilities, one could only wonder why the island is so feared. According to local historians, the tiny island has long offered protection to sailors caught in stormy weather. A few years ago, people started discovering human skeletons on the island, and word got around town that Daxa has ghosts. According to local records, Yugoslav partisan forces entered Dubrovnik on October 18, 1944 and proceeded to round up dozens of suspected Nazi collaborators, including priest Peter Periha and the newly appointed mayor, Niko Koprivika. A little over a week later, communist authorities posted a notice in town, explaining that 36 residents of Dubrovnik had been sentenced to be shot by a firing squad. Suspects were said to have been rowed out to Daxa on boats and executed. Residents of Dubrovnik would later claim that there had been no record of any trial and that the partisans had cautioned locals that anyone who went looking for relatives on any of the nearby islands would meet the same fate. So the bodies of alleged Nazi collaborators sat undisturbed on Daxa for 60 years, until an unnamed individual found a mass grave on the island in 2009. Forensic scientists excavated the site in September of that year and found the remains of 53 people in two different locations. One site was in the remains of an old farmhouse basement along with the remains found were crosses, rosaries and priest collars. Forensic scientists concluded that several Catholic priests were among the executed. Meanwhile, residents of the medieval city of Dubrovnik say ghosts of the executed man still haunt the island of Daxa, seeking some sort of revenge. Some sailors that have sailed close to the island has reported sighting ghosts and unknown creatures roaming the islands. Some sort of angry energy is also reported attacking fishermen boats in an attempt to turn it over and drown them. This and the fear of picking up human bones are reasons why the island is avoided by fishermen.
while it is probably not ghosts keeping buyers away, the memory of the massacre itself is haunting enough to dissuade new owners. If you are up for some expensive adventure, you could buy this island and find out why exactly it is being avoided. Lucrum, on the other hand, is frequented by taxi boats and thousands head out from Dubrovnik's old port for a day of tranquilization at Lucrum with no knowledge of its past. Legends and suspicions have surrounded this beautiful island of palm trees and pines since its long-term residents were removed in 1798. The community of Benedictine monks who are known to have settled on Lokrum since the early 11th century, were evicted by Napoleon's troops. The night before their expulsion, the Benedictines placed a curse on those who took their sacred ground. Half a century later, Habsburg Royal Maximilian, younger brother of the Emperor Franz Joseph, bought Lucrum. He converted the monastery complex into his pleasure gardens, spending many a happy summer having exotic trees and plants bedded and colorful birds imported. He however met his grim fate after agreeing to accept the crown of Mexico. He was captured and then executed by the Republicans. His wife, Charlotte of Belgium, slowly went mad, gazing over the Adriatic from Miramar Castle in Trieste. Staying over at the island of Lokrum is not allowed, as it is believed that the curse of the monks is still potent and can reflect anyone that stays over on the island, even for just a night. If you are given the chance, will you stay a night on the island? Would you like to test the potency of the monk's curses? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We'd love to engage with you. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Till we come your way again, stay spooked. Coming up in the next episode. Daily Horror brings you the experience of the Horror Inn, the hotel with many unsettling past, the Cecil Hotel, Los Angeles. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode.